Golf, now one of the most popular and avidly followed sports, owes its widespread appeal to the simplicity, style, and grace fostered by the divine natural surroundings in which it's played. Welcome to Golf Players' Secrets. Today, we delve into the lives and achievements of the most legendary golf players. From the love of a parent to being one, Eldrick Taunt, Tiger. Woods has a career spanning more than two decades and is best known for his golfing abilities. When he was 14, he was teeing up for a collegiate golf scholarship on the American Junior Golf Association Tour, and his parents had to take out a second mortgage to allow him to play on the AJJ Tour, which gave him access to premier tournaments and college scouts. His parents had such an impact on him that the five-time Masters Tournament Champions trademark red polo shirt was inspired by his mother, who believed that red was his power color. Nonetheless, he had both of his parents' support until his father Earl died on May 3, 2006 from prostate cancer. According to the four-time PGA Championship champion, his father was his best friend, a great role model, coach, mentor, soldier, and an amazing dad, and he wouldn't be where he is today without him. But as luck will have it, while Tiger Wood was idolizing his father, he soon became one a year later. A cheerleader daughter and a golf protege son. Tiger Woods and the mother to his two kids, Ellen Nordegren, first met in 2001 when Swedish golfer Jesper Parnevik, who had hired her as an au pair, introduced them. Elin Nordegren was a Swedish model and the daughter of former Minister of Migration, Barbro Holmberg, and radio journalist Thomas Nordegren, and by November 2003, they were engaged. In any case, they got married on the 5th of October 2004 at the Sandy Lane Resort in Barbados. Sam Alexis Woods. Nonetheless, on June 18, 2007, in Orlando, Florida, they welcomed their first child, Sam Alexis Woods. According to Woods, he named his daughter Sam Alexis because he and his wife wanted something meaningful to his and his wife's side of the family, and because she was born the day after Father's Day, the name fits perfectly. The three-time U.S. Open champion recalled that his late father had always called him Sam since birth. He rarely ever called me Tiger. I would ask him, why don't you ever call me Tiger? Well, you look more like a Sam, Tiger Woods said. Interestingly, Sam began her golfing career very early, as Woods gave her a golf club just two weeks after she was born. I put a golf club in her hand. She couldn't quite hold it, but it was there, Woods said. And after just six months, she was in attendance as Tiger Woods won the Target World Challenge Golf Tournament in Thousand Oaks, California. Charlie Axel Woods. Nonetheless, Tiger and his ex-wife welcomed their second child, Charlie Axel Woods, 19 months after Sam. The ex-couple chose the name Charlie this time because it just fit. Charlie's middle name, on the other hand, was a tribute to Elin's brother because, according to Tiger, they wanted to keep the name in the family. Notwithstanding, it wasn't surprising, though, that Charlie showed an interest in athletics from a very young age. According to his father, at just two years of age, all Charlie wanted to do was play sports. Give him a stick and a ball, Tiger Woods said. In any case, with the help of his father, Charlie got an early start in his golfing career, not only by closely watching his father, but also by training alongside professionals. Back in 2020, an 11-year-old, Charlie Woods easily dominated and topped the leaderboard in a U.S. kids golf-sanctioned event at Hammock Creek Golf Club in Palm City, Florida. Charlie shot a three under 33 over nine holes in the boys' 11-year-old division with Tiger as his caddy, finishing with no bogeys and three birdies. Even Tiger admitted to paying very close attention to his son's skills on the golf course as he was learning a thing or two from him. I wish I could rotate like that and turn my head like that and do some of those positions, but those days are long gone and I have to relive them through him," Tiger said of his son. In 2020, the father-son duo competed in their first tournament together as they played in the PNC Championship in Orlando. 
However, while Charlie is following in his father's footsteps and his daughter Alexis attends his golfing events, Tiger Woods claims that they are more interested in other sports, their love for another sport. Despite Tiger Woods' legendary status in golf, many would expect his children to follow in his footsteps, but the three-time Open Championship winner admitted that his children are more interested in another sport, and the sport in question is none other than soccer. When asked if his Sam and Charlie have any interest in following in his footsteps given their presence and interest in golf, Tiger Woods responded, No, not really. He emphasized that he is fine with them not wanting to play the sport for which he is famous for, as he is fine with them enjoying themselves in other sports, especially soccer. Woods stated that he enjoys being able to physically get out and pass the ball around with his children, and that it's a lot of fun to see how happy and passionate they are about football. Regardless, despite Charlie's love of soccer, he has been following in his father's footsteps by attending golfing events with him. Moreover, Woods hosts putting contests in his backyards and admits that his son has beaten him more than once. The fact that he has been able to earn it off of me, there's no wins that are given in this family. It's been fun to see him tease me about beating me. He said, it's where it belongs, Woods said. Besides, both of his children have previously served as his caddies. Lesson on patience. In any case, while Tiger Woods is bonding with Charlie through golfing, he has made it a point not to be strict with him as his father, Earl was. When his father was still alive, Tiger did enjoy being out with him, but in some case, it wasn't just fun as Earl's intensity were rigorous as it helped Tiger develop mental fortitude. And while it is obvious that this mental toughness helped him become one of the greatest golfers of all time, Woods has since admitted that having Sam Alexis taught him to be more patient. The 82-time PGA Tour winner spoke about his close relationship with his daughter while playing golf with Jada Pinkett Smith in an episode of Golf Digest's miniseries, Around with Tiger, Celebrity Lessons. When asked what his daughter has taught him, the 41-time European Tour winner, who once admitted that being a single dad is difficult, emphasized that his little girl has taught him how to be tolerant, and he loves it. Their father-daughter relationship is known to be a tight one, despite his divorce from his wife in 2010 over his infidelity scandal. Woods acknowledged that he and Elin have been working hard to ensure that their children have as much access to them as they desire. So it's no surprise that when Tiger Woods was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 2022, his four-year-old daughter Sam introduced him and shared the spotlight with him as she delivered a memorable speech. Sam's speech. As an inductee into the World Golf Hall of Fame event in 2022, Tiger Woods has both his kids, Sam and Charlie, present to celebrate the memorable moment with him. His mother, Coltida Woods, and his then-girlfriend, Erica Herman, were also present. To his surprise, Sam gave a speech to introduce him, which was both memorable and vulnerable. Sam, who was 14 at the time, honored him for his achievements as an athlete and a father. She described how he nearly forfeited the 2007 U.S. Open after learning that Elin was hospitalized in Orlando due to complications before giving birth to her. Some of my best memories are being out there with my dad, she said. She also mentioned his rollover car accident in February 2021 in California, which required surgery, and how she wasn't sure if he'd come home with both legs or not, but he defied the odds. You've defied the odds every time, being the first black and Asian golfer to win a major, being able to win your fifth masters after multiple back surgeries, and being able to walk just a few months after your crash, Sam said. In any case, Tiger became emotional as he accepted the awards, noting that Sam has always been special and that he is now happy that the rest of the world can see it. Nonetheless, his daughter's speech about his accident did get him emotional, as it was a roller coaster moment for him as he received a lot of support from both his kids, 
support after accident. On the 3rd of February, 2021, Tiger Woods was injured in a rollover car accident in California. According to the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department, Tiger Wood was extricated from the wreck with the jaws of life by Los Angeles County firefighters and paramedics, and then transported to a local hospital by ambulance for his injuries. In any case, he suffered significant orthopedic injuries to his right leg, including fractures to his tibia and fibula bones in the car crash. On recovery from his injury, the Hall of Famer admitted that access to his children, Sam and Charlie, during his recovery only made it better. And an insider source even admitted that part of his positive attitude since recovering was due to his time with his kids. Do you see any of his children following in his legendary steps? Or do you think they can surpass him? How Nelly Corda actually compares to other golf players. Nelly Corda, a rising star in the world of professional golf, has captured the hearts of fans with her captivating gameplay and stunning performances. But how does she actually compare to other golf players? To answer this question, we must first understand what sets Nelly apart from her peers. While most golfers rely on their skill and technique to succeed, Nelly has a secret weapon that gives her an edge on the course, her intuition. Nellie's intuition is an incredibly powerful force that allows her to tap into the collective consciousness of the golf course itself. When she steps onto the green, she can feel the energy of the course flowing through her, guiding her every move and helping her make the right decisions at the right time. This unique ability has made Nellie a force to be reckoned with on the golf course and has earned her comparisons to some of the greatest golfers in history. But how does she stack up against her peers? To answer this question, we need to look at Nellie's performance on the course. Over the past few years, she has consistently been one of the top performers in women's golf, winning multiple tournaments and placing highly in many others. But what really sets Nellie apart from her peers is her ability to stay focused and composed under pressure. While other golfers may falter in high pressure situations, Nellie seems to thrive, using her intuition to guide her every shot and never losing her cool, no matter how intense the competition may be. This incredible composure and intuition have earned Nellie comparisons to some of the greatest golfers in history, including Tiger Woods and Jack Nicklaus. Like these legends of the sport, Nellie seems to have an almost supernatural ability to read the course, make split-second decisions, and execute her shots with precision and grace. But Nellie is more than just a great golfer. She is also an inspiration to young girls and women all over the world, proving that anything is possible with hard work, dedication, and a little bit of intuition. Nellie's success on the course has also brought attention to the growing popularity of women's golf. As more and more women take up the sport and excel at it, Nellie is helping to break down barriers and shatter stereotypes, showing the world that women can be just as talented and competitive as men. In many ways, Nellie represents the future of golf, a sport that is evolving and changing with each passing year. As new technologies and techniques emerge, golfers like Nelly will continue to push the limits of what is possible and inspire a new generation of players to take up the sport and make it their own. So how does Nelly Corda actually compare to other golf players? The answer is simple. She is a true original, a one-of-a-kind talent whose intuition and composure on the course have earned her comparisons to some of the greatest golfers in history. But Nellie beats just being a great golfer. She is an inspiration, a role model, and a symbol of the incredible potential of women in sports. As Nellie continues to dominate the world of golf and inspire fans around the globe, we can only imagine what the future holds for this amazing athlete. One thing is for sure though, wherever Nellie goes, she will continue to amaze us with her incredible talent and unwavering spirit. How Nellie Corda has inspired other women in the golf sport. Nellie Corda, 
the 23-year-old American professional golfer, has been dominating the golf scene in recent years with her impressive skills and unwavering determination. Her success has not only made her a household name, but has also inspired countless other women to follow in her footsteps and pursue their dreams in golf. But how exactly has Nellie Corda managed to inspire so many women in the sport of golf? The answer lies not only in her incredible talent on the golf course, but also in her unwavering commitment to pushing boundaries and breaking barriers. From a young age, Nellie Corda was drawn to golf, inspired by her family's love of the sport. She quickly discovered her natural talent and spent countless hours practicing and perfecting her technique. But it was her sheer determination that set her apart from the rest. Despite facing countless setbacks and challenges along the way, Nellie never lost sight of her dream of becoming a professional golfer. Her hard work and dedication paid off in 2018 when she won her first LPGA Tour event at the age of 19, becoming the third member of her family to win on the LPGA Tour. Since then, Nellie has continued to dominate the sport, winning multiple tournaments and even representing Team USA in the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. But Nellie's impact extends far beyond her impressive record on the golf course. As a young, successful woman in a male-dominated sport, Nellie has become a role model for countless young girls and women, proving that anything is possible with hard work and dedication. Her success has also sparked a renewed interest in women's golf, with more and more young girls taking up the sport and aspiring to follow in Nellie's footsteps. In fact, Nellie's impact has been so significant that some have even dubbed her the Tiger Woods of women's golf. But Nellie's impact doesn't end there. She has also used her platform to advocate for gender equality in sports and inspire other women to pursue their dreams, no matter what obstacles they may face. In a world where women are still fighting for equal pay and opportunities in sports, Nellie Corda's success and determination serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for all. Her story is a reminder that with hard work, dedication, and a never-give-up attitude, anything is possible. So if you're a young girl or woman who dreams of playing golf professionally, or if you're simply looking for a little inspiration to chase your own dreams, look no further than Nellie Corda. She's a true trailblazer in every sense of the word and a shining example of what can be accomplished with passion and perseverance. How? Women are faring in the golf sport today. Golf, a sport once thought of as exclusive to the wealthy and privileged, has undergone a transformation in recent years. Gone are the days where it was a male-dominated arena. Women are now making their mark on the green, and their impact is undeniable. The progress made by women in golf is a testament to the incredible talent and determination that these athletes possess. They have proven time and again that they are every bit as capable as their male counterparts, and in many cases, even more so. One of the most significant achievements for women in golf is the establishment of the Ladies Professional Golf Association LPGA in 1950. This organization has been instrumental in promoting women's golf and creating opportunities for female golfers to compete professionally. Today, the LPGA Tour is a global phenomenon with players from all corners of the world vying for the top spot. The likes of Annika Sorenstam, Lorena Ochoa, and Seri Pak have inspired a new generation of female golfers to take up the sport and the results have been nothing short of remarkable. One of the most impressive examples of women's success in golf is the story of Yuka Sasso, the 20-year-old Filipino golfer who won the 2021 U.S. Women's Open. Sasso became only the second player from the Philippines to win a major championship, and her victory was a triumph for women's golf in Asia. The rise of women's golf has also seen an increase in sponsorship deals and media coverage. Female golfers are now being recognized as the incredible athletes they are, and the sport is all the better for it. However, there is still work to be done in terms of pay parity and representation, 
but the progress made so far is undeniable. It's not just on the professional circuit where women are making waves in golf. At the grassroots level, female participation in the sport is increasing year on year. Initiatives such as Girls Golf, which is designed to introduce young girls to the sport, are making a real difference. In summary, women's golf has come a long way since the days when it was considered a male-only sport. The talent and determination of female golfers have propelled them to the forefront of the game, and their impact is being felt around the world. With the continued growth of women's golf, who knows what incredible achievements lie ahead. One thing is for sure, women are no longer being left behind in the world of golf, and that is something to be celebrated. In all these, Nelly still stands out as a phenomenal entity in the success of women in golf, swinging her way into the top of the golfing world. With her incredible skills, fierce determination, and unbeatable spirit, it's no wonder she's making headlines as one of the greatest players of our time. So, whether you're a die-hard golf fan or simply looking for some inspiration, take a page from Nelly's book and never give up on your dreams. Keep practicing, keep pushing, and who knows? Maybe someday you'll be the one making history on the green. Philip Alfred Mickelson, an American professional golfer presently active in the LIV Golf League, boasts an impressive record of 45 victories in PGA Tour events, encompassing six major championships, three Masters titles, two PGA championships, and one Open Championship. Phil Mickelson garners widespread adoration both for his golfing prowess and for his character as an individual. In the realm of sports, athletes are often recognized solely for their on-field performance and their conduct away from the game, leaving fans with little insight into the personalities behind the athletes. It's the actions of an athlete that truly shape how fans perceive them. Mickelson's actions serve as a testament to his integrity and principles. Golf enthusiasts hold a deep affection for him because he approaches golf with a singular focus on victory, indifferent to monetary gains or mere respectable placements. Mickelson's aim is to claim trophies, a philosophy evident in his playing style. He frequently opts for daring, high-risk shots instead of conservative plays, solely to enhance his chances of securing a win, even if it means risking a lower placement. Mickelson's audacity is exemplified by his ability to execute a shot from a steep side hill lie that soars over his head and lands on the green behind him, a move he even dared to attempt in competitive play. Phil Mickelson uses PGA Tour board members' quote to call his shot for Live Golf's future Doral flaw, one of the last people you'd expect Phil Mickelson to quote after a lost match at the 2023 Live Golf Team Championship would be a PGA Tour board member, right? Well, that's precisely what happened Friday at Trump National Doral. Mickelson, the captain of the High Flyers GC, got drubbed by Smash GC's Brooks Koepka, 6-4, in Friday's quarterfinal round of the Upstart Circuit's $50 million finale. After the round, when asked about his quote earlier in the week that he knows more talent is coming to live golf, Mickelson doubled down and invoked a quote from PGA Tour board member Jimmy Dunn during a congressional hearing to discuss the groundbreaking framework agreement between the PGA Tour DP World Tour and Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, Levy's financial backer, Dunn said, if LIV continued to lure just five PGA Tour players per year to its ranks, then in five years, they can gut us. Mickelson refused to give any names or detail how many new players may be joining, but he couldn't help but smile when talking about the new blood joining his team. I'm really looking forward to the new players joining us next year. As time goes on, we'll keep improving and attracting even more talented players. That's our plan, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it," Mickelson shared with Golf week after his match. I strongly believe, just like Jimmy Dunn said in Congress, that's exactly what's going to happen. 
Similar expectations were expressed at Trump National Doral last year about many new talented players joining for 2023. However, the players who came, like Dean Burmester, Danny Lee, Sebastian Munoz, Thomas Peters, Mito Pereira, and Brendan Steele, didn't significantly boost Liv's standing. Mickelson thinks the new agreement will help bring in better talent. I've been receiving calls from various players interested in joining, from free agents to those on the PGA Tour and DP World Tour. The available spots will probably be taken by the time the qualifying tournament arrives, Mickelson mentioned earlier. I believe the merger talks will allow for this change. It opens up the possibility. The off-season transfer window starts on Monday, and Liv expects to have four to six spots available among its 12 teams. Due to its format, the league can expand to 15 teams, potentially allowing more players to join. Until then, we'll have to wait and see. We hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. See you in next video. Goodbye.